Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature that is Magic Site to Site VPN. Unify OS 3.1 just went to release candidate, so now we're able to use this feature. I will do another video on 3.1 later in the week. Now this video is not going to be too long because the Magic Site to Site VPN is really easy to set up, but we will read through this list and the Q&A. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit MacTelecomNetworks.com. I do have affiliate links down below and also a Discord channel that you could find in the description. So let's just quickly read this here. So Magic Site to Site VPN allows you to easily interconnect unified gateways across multiple locations with just a few clicks. Instead of setting up complicated manual VPNs between multiple gateways. Uh, simply select the gateways you want to connect through the Unify portal. So the site-to-site -site VPNs work if it's double natted as well as LTE and 5G. Now let's read through the requirements. So Unify OS Gateway 3.1.8 or UXG Pro 3.1.13. The Unify network application must be running 7.4.150 or newer. At least one gateway needs a public IP and all participating consoles must be the same owner. Now we won't read through all this Q&A actually, but one thing, is there a limit to how many sites that can be added? A, a thousand, so Magic Site to Site VPN can scale to your organization's need. One other question that I had a while ago, because this is all tied in through unify.ui.com, is does the VPN connection drop if there is a cloud issue? And it doesn't. So they say no, but it won't be able to update the configuration if, for example, there is a change to the WAN or LAN. Okay, so now I'm over at unify.ui.com and let's get this magic site to site created. I have a couple consoles that are running 3.1. And we could see over on the left hand side, we have this new tab that says Site Magic. So let's click on that. Once you click on Site Magic, it brings up this new window and it says Add New Site Magic Group. And you could give it a name. I'll just leave it at Site Magic Group 1. It says, please select two to five sites and ensure that at least one public IP. So my Mac Telecom SE does have a public IP. The other ones don't. They are in double NAT, as you could see right here. I am blurring out quite a bit because I can't show you it. But let me click on my Mac Telecom SE, and then we're gonna select these two other sites. Once we select those sites, we'll press add. Now, once we select add, you can see each one of these sites brings up the subnets that are at those sites. So we can't use overlapping subnets, that won't work. But for this top site, we're gonna select 192.168.4.0. For this other site, we'll select 192.168.3.1. And then for my main site, which is my Mac Telecom SE, we'll select 192.168.10.0. Once we have our selected subnets, and you could do more than one, whatever you want to communicate between these site-to-site -site VPNs, all we need to do is click connect and the site-to-site -site VPN will be created. You'd see that it's yellow, but once it's green, the site-to-site -site will be connected. All right, now that magic site-to-site -site VPN is green and the connection is established, so those VPNs are communicating between them. We can add more than one VPN if we go up to the left hand and click add new, but I'm sitting on 192.168.10 network. Let's see if we could hit the gateways of 4.1 and 3.1. I'll bring up a command prompt. And then I'll try to ping them. So ping 192.168.3.1. And you can see that that's going through. And then we'll do 4.1. And we're able to communicate with the other site. So really, that's going to be it for the Magic Site to Site VPN. It's really easy to get set up. Ubiquity did have something called Auto IPsec back in the day when you used USGs or USG Pro 4. Magic Site to Site VPN works a little bit different as it uses WireGuard and OSPF. Now that Unify OS 3.1 is out, I'm gonna be doing a full 2023 build, which will include every single VPN that Ubiquity offers, as well as firewall rules. If there's something that you'd like to see, put it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.